Alright guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to implement alerts with Tailwind CSS. So for just a second, I'm going to jump over to Tailwind's to bootstrap documentation and see how they have implemented uh, alerts. Yeah, look at these uh, rectangular pieces and they have text in the center. Basically, alerts are elements that can be used to pro provide contextual feedback as it's me mentioned over here, basically. Yeah. So the color of the alert also signifies what kind of alert it is. If it's green, it's success. If it's red, it's danger. If it's yellow, it's warning and so, uh, so on and so far. So they can be used really sparingly in any UI. For example, if somebody is trying to log into your app and they have the wrong password, you can just show an error alert down or on the top, whatever. Or if somebody is trying to enter maybe, let's say, an invalid value into form, and you want to show a more prominent error message, you can make a different uh, sort of error alert for it and so far. All right, so let's get into it. I have the CDN pulled in right over here. Uh, ideally, if you were working on a project, you would want to use NPM and configure Tailwind through NPM because that way you can extend it. But for the sake of these tutorials, I'm just going to pull in the CDN, which I've been doing in the every video basically. So I just have some base styles on the body tag after that uh, we're going to have a div here we will have couple of alerts so just setting up setting it up for that and space y3 will just increase the spacing between our different alerts so now getting into making an alert first let's just say info alert all right so for info alert we can give it maybe a class of bgtl300 let's see yeah and then text teal 800 uh, yeah that looks nice then what you would want to do is uh, increase padding so let's say px3 py5 let's see how that looks cool so uh, what I'm going to do is just make this parent div go to width 4x5 of the screen yeah and this is taking up the full width so we have a bigger alert now and now that it's bigger i think py can be a little less yeah all right now what i like to do for alerts is just add a prominent border on the top so right now it's on the side on all the sides for four pixels we can just say bordered hyphen t hyphen four for it to be on the top uh, and to then color it we can say let's say border t 800 you can even make this rounded if you would like but i think it looks better with straight edges and uh, an alert is usually not a part of your normal flow of the app so you would want it to be like look like it's raised from the screen so we can add a shadow excel to it all right so let me just jump over to hero icons dot dev for a second and we can probably get a get an icon for like info or something and put it over here let's say i yeah information circle cool so i'm going to uh, put this svg icon right over here now it's too large for our liking right now so we can just go on the S svg and specify the height and width so let's say h5 w5 the size seems about right but it's on different lines now so we can use flexbox so flex gets it on the same row then we can say justify uh, between this basically is equivalent to justify content space between and then items center for align items center yeah so there is here is an info alert for you it's pretty simple straightforward so after this let's just copy this over and look at how you could implement a success alert honestly for a success alert you just need to change the colors to green yeah this is also pretty greenish but you'll see the difference Suck. 
success alert yeah and as you can see just changing out the colors we have a success alert and on the success alert let's have a tick icon instead of this i don't know if uh, hero icons dot dev has a tick icon or not let's just look at it for a second yeah we could use this bad check to signify that this is success alert rather than info hero icons dot dev is pretty handy you can just click on whatever icon you want all right so we just need to specify the size for this h5 w5 yeah that looks pretty decent all right for the last alert we are going to see an error alert so that we can you know add an cross to it and you can make it dismissible if you'd like so let's say error alert pg red 300 text red 800 and then what we can do is let's just save this and see what we got all right so instead of this uh, x uh, confirm batch i'll get this x circle and copy in the svg cool and then class h5 w5 that should do the trick and we also got to change the border so let's say border red 800 and i think we forgot to change the border on the this one also no that's fine we did that all right and because this is a cross so you want you'd want this to be dismissible right so if you click on the cross this gets dismissed dismissed so for that on this svg you would want to say let's say on hover text red 700 so this is important to understand what this hover colon does is uh, this class will get applied like this class will take effect only when the icon is being hovered over so let's see yeah you see the color lightens up again so all right guys that's it for this one and i hope you like the video and just tell me in the comments what you thought about it thank you